Alright guys, so it's about 7 p.m. on Monday. And I'm trying to put some work in today to work on the car. It's been crazy, but at least I can get something done today, hopefully. Um, so the last time we checked in with you guys on the Miata vlog, um, we got the temperature sensor that we wanted to change. That's right back here. Um, I don't know if I should open up the valve cover because we need to change the gasket and then also the O-ring there that you see on the cast. Um, and I need to remove the air box here because I wanted to replace it uh, not replace the air box, but I wanted to get to the lower um, radiator hose, right? Yeah, that's right over here. Just see right under there. Uh, trying to get something done at least today. So let's um, what should we do? Maybe remove this and let's change the radiator hose, or but if I need to do that, I'm gonna have to get under the radiator and drain whatever cooling is left inside here so that we don't have a crazy mess when we change the hose right there. So let's um, see what we could accomplish today. Hopefully uh, it's kind of a, uh, see out here it's a little cloudy, but it's getting a little dark, but we still have some natural light out and uh, at least I can get something done. So let's see what we could do. Alright guys, I guess we're going to plan on uh, removing the crossover tube right here, with the air intake. So we're going to loosen the hose clamps. I'm going to take, loosen up screws here, the bolts here from the breather hose. And then remove the MAF sensor, and we should be able to remove the crossover tube. Alright guys, sorry I had to charge the battery. But yeah, we're going to remove the crossover tube. You see right here, we're going to loosen it. So we're going to try to replace the lower radiator hose right there. So loosen this part, the clamp here. Move these um, bolts here, the breather holes. Should be a 10 millimeter. Right, so, we got a lot of things we're going to do, guys. We're going to change the radiator fan right here. This one, this one's still good. I'm going to change the off cover gasket, temperature sensor, and the o-ring, so the cast o-ring. So this is loose. You're gonna need a
guys just removed the crossover tube. There it is, the airbox. I'll show you. There it is. And here are the um, intake manifold. I cover it. Make sure you guys cover that when you remove it. dirt dust gets inside let's cover it so what I plan on doing is the you see right here right yep here's the lower or upper radiator hose I'm gonna ch I'm gonna replace it um, I'm probably gonna do it in another video because it's getting dark now but yeah just remove the uh, um, the crossover tube, the air intake tube, so we have more room to work with. And we're going to change the fan too. So, but first, before doing all this, we're going to have to drain the coolant that's uh, still in here, whatever's left, and we're going to replace the valve cover gasket and also the crank angle sensor O-ring. And as well as the temperature sensor which is up there all right guys so it's day two and i'm actually uh, planning to drain out the coolant from the radiator so i can remove the radiator and replace the cooling fan that's not working as well as the uh, radiator hose that you see right there i'm gonna replace that so let's get to work so as you can see guys <laughs> Spider webs are here. I haven't really worked on the car. But here I am finally getting back to it. So we're going to drain the coolant out from the radiator again. Um, we actually already did this before when we replaced the radiator. So if you guys check out our past Miata vlogs, um, you can see how to do that step by step. But I just want to film again because this is new content. So yeah, right here is the drain plug where the radiator is at. And we're going to drain out the coolant. So I have the a little tray here ready so let's see so you need a phillips and if i can see hold on. i think i got it there's the drain plug so i'm gonna need a bigger phillips screwdriver to unscrew it and um i think i'm gonna have to lift the car a little bit and then do that so stay tuned Drain out the coolant from the radiator so I can change the fan, eventually change the hoses. So, jacking up the car. Alright guys, so as you can see, so I jacked the Miata and I'm going to change the hoses you see right here radiator I'm gonna drain from the bottom change this coolant fan um, the hoses I just found out that I think I have a replacement hose or not the uh, crossover tube intake hose right here cracked and this wasn't actually tightened so I have to replace and change it so yeah here we go you're gonna need a fill. So while that is draining guys, I'm gonna open up the radio cap. Open the radio cap so it can drain out everything. Okay. 
All right, guys. So right here, I believe this is the uh, access panel. Once I remove the screw here, access panels will open up, and I can get access to the um, the radiator hose that's on the lower part right here. Um, so you're gonna need a uh, Phillips. I'm still doing some of the stuff here, so that way you guys can see. Uh, make sure. Yeah, so so right here, guys. There's the hose. So this access panel gives you the access to getting to the radiator hose that's on the bottom here. I'm gonna loosen it, make sure all the coolant is uh, drained, and then I'm gonna remove the hose and then replace it with the one I have. So I'm going to be removing the bolts that's holding this up, uh, the bottom ending cover. And you're going to need a 10 millimeter to remove it. There's a bolt right here. And then uh, there's another bolt where, uh, I'll show you right now. Let me remove this. And then there's one right there. So you're going to need to remove that. I believe it's a 10 too. So that whole cover is going to come off where the access panel is. Exposing the rest of uh, the area where the radiator is at. So right here. Radiator hose I want to change. There's the fan that I need to change. This is the bottom. You're looking at the bottom of the radiator, guys. There's the hose again. There's the fan that I need to change. And then the radiator. On the bottom, there's the bolt that sits in here on both sides. There's bolts right here. There's two bolts right here you need to remove. Remove those bolts and then uh, remove the top bolts on each side and you'll be able to take the radiator out. Because in order for me to remove the fan, I have to take the radiator out. Yeah, so I'm not going to film this part. You guys could check more of this on our past Miata vlogs. We've already removed this radiator. You can check it out. Um, I'll leave it, the link on the description below. So that way you guys can see how to remove the radiator and change everything. So uh, check out the link. But yeah, we're going to remove the radiator and then we're going to remove the fan right here. And then put the new one on. So let's go. I'm just going to film a little bit, guys. Since it's content and I just want to show you. So yeah. You're also still using a 10 millimeter to remove that center bolt right here it's holding the other uh, bolts and I think it's like the uh these are easy lines or I forgot what this was here. see so that's removed away from the radiator see so you're good so you probably you think you would just remove the middle bolt that's connected to the radiator. I can leave the rest of it in there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna loosen these bolts here on each side of the radiator. Alright, so we removed the left side already. Now the driver's side here. Hold this down. So next guys, I'm going to unclamp the radiator hose here on the bottom. There you go. So that's loose. Ok, 
Okay guys, everything should, uh, so the radio should be able to be removed. I just gotta make sure I remove all the wiring connections. I think everything's good here. There you have it. Just remove the radiator. So what's up guys? So here's our current situation. So we just removed out the radiator. Talking to Ryan over at Sanctum Garage in Florida. Big shout out to him and the guys over there. They also have a Miata that they're working on over there. And um, Ryan was telling me uh, it's probably the block because it's made out of cast iron so it rusts over time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flush the radiator and uh, fill it with degreaser to drain it out and then uh, refill it again with um, coolant again and see how it goes when I put everything back on. Uh, hopefully that works, um, we'll see. Here, so if you can see right here, this piece here, here's the hose here and the bottom. It's all like three separate pieces and I'm not sure why it's like that for the 1E, for the NA, but um, I feel that this one here, I feel that this hole is much better because it's all one piece and it would be able to keep a constant pressure flowing going into the radiator so I'm glad I have this so I'm gonna switch it to this hopefully if I have time <laughs> but soon enough I will all right guys so this will conclude our vlog for this week stay tuned for more work on this car in our upcoming Miata vlogs and make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel at From 400 we are almost at our 1,000 subscribers so if you guys can help us get to our 1,000 we would greatly appreciate it make sure you guys subscribe uh, we are currently at like 969 970 subs so thank you guys for supporting us and subscribing to the channel if you guys haven't yet please subscribe and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you guys smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.